Yo guys, what's going on Adapted here, and today we're going to be looking at how to make some simple but cinematic titles in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import some footage, I've just got some basic stock stuff off from, um, from a mine. And what I'm going to do is actually cut this down to about say 8 seconds, or any more than that for the intro, so I'm just going to cut that there. Right, so obviously the first thing we want to do is use the text, uh, the titles tool to put in our title. So you can go, go into your project bin, you can right click and go on new item title, or as I not like to do, I just click on the new item icon down here, and then just go to title. So you want, so we're just going to call that title. Right, so this will bring up the titling tool as as so. So what we can do now is go over here to, on the left and get our actual text tool. In the middle, we can type whatever. So I'm just going to put cinematic titles. And then I'm going to align that in the centre. Then one thing I like to do to make it look a bit more, just make it look a bit more cinematic because it's all squashed in the middle at the moment. So what I like to do is put a bit of kerning on it. So I'm going to highlight that and then just stretch it out a bit, like so. And again, I'm going to centre that. And then another thing you can do is write another title underneath, but change and mess around with the font and, st and, the, and the thickness of the font to make it look a bit different. So on this bit, I'm just going to put in Premiere Pro. And again, I'm going to centre that. And then I'm also going to bring it down underneath like so. I'm going to highlight that second part and then I'm going to change that to something a bit so let's try regular. So as you see, it looks it, it's not how usually different, but it does add a bit more, a bit more character to it rather than just being the same font. Let's go for something else. Actually, let's go put it on thin. Ah, oh, there we go. That's much better. So as you can see, just changing the titles, uh, changing the two lines to different fonts, uh, different types of font makes it look a lot better in my opinion. And um, you can, if you want, put shadows on it and strokes, but I don't do that. I, I leave it without shadows because I think it's more of a modern, realistic look. So um, we can just drop that title in. So as of right now, all we've got is just the footage in the background and the just the title above, which looks it looks okay in its own. But we're going to do a few more things to make it look a bit better. Uh, There's one thing I like to do because this is a white font. And especially when it starts to pan up and it goes into the sky, like just around this area, you can't exactly read the text very well. So one thing I like to do in my titles is I put in a a colour mat and I just keep it black and then I can I put that under the title layer, like so. And then what I like to do with that is turn the opacity down to about 90-95, like so. So as you, can, as you can see from that, you can still see the background, but the text stands out a lot more and it looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Right, another thing we're going to do is actually animate the animate the text to make it look and pop out a bit better. So the way we're going to do this is some basic keyframing. So what I want it to do is I want it to fade in with like a motion blur and stuff like that and I'm also going to want it to pan towards the screen just a tiny bit just make it look a bit better so what I'm going to do is go over here I'm going to click on the title I'm going to click on the title layer and I'm going to go up to the top here to affect controls and then here we'll have position position and scale which are the main ones we're going to be using I'm also going to go to effects and look for blur and I'm going to drop a Gaussian blur on there just just this up at the bottom there the first thing I'm going to do is the scale. So at the beginning, we want it to start as where it is. So I'm going to click the, the stopwatch here, which puts in a keyframe. And I'm going to skip towards the skip to the end, and I'm going to increase its scale by 10% roughly. So as you can see, as it goes out, the title is coming slowly towards the screen. It's very subtle, but in my in my opinion, it looks it looks nice. Alright, so another thing we're going to do is make it fade in. So the way I like to do this, so we've got, so the title is 8 seconds, so I'm going to go to about 1 second. 
Right, just now, sorry. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the opacity and turn that down to zero to start with, which will put the keyframe in there. And then I'm gonna go to one second and I'm gonna turn that up to 100 like so. So as you can see, it now fades in. Another thing I'm going to do to make it look a bit better, I'm just going to highlight these keyframes and set it to Auto Bezier, which makes it look a bit smoother rather than just a static fading. And again, at the end, I'm going to go one second from the end, which is seven seconds. And then I'm going to cl click here to insert a keyframe where it is now, and then I'm going to go to the end and turn the opacity down to zero. So as you can see, when it gets to the end now, you know, zooms out, uh, fades out, sorry. So the next thing we're gonna do is make that fade in a bit blur to make it look a bit better. So what we're gonna do is on blur down here, we're gonna start it off around 50. I'm gonna click the stopwatch. So you can see when, I, when we go in now, that is now blurred, but we don't want it to stay blurred, obviously. So again, we're gonna go to one second in and put that down to zero. So as you can see it now, it fades in and it also blurs in as well, which looks a bit better. Again, we're going to go to the end. One second. Insert a keyframe there. And then at the end, put that to 50. Again, I'm going to highlight these keyframes. I'm going to set that to auto busy here, like so. And that is pretty much it. Just a simple cinematic title that fades in with a blur and fades out with a blur. And that is it, a basic guide on how to make cinematic titles in Premiere. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.